Hello everybody and thank you for watching this video which is provided to be presented in the second international conference on automobile engineering. My name is Shahram Shokufar and my presentation is about the influences of operating factors on modal characteristics of a rolling truck tire. This has been taken from my PhD research supervised by Professor Akeja at Concordia University and Professor Elgindi from University of Ontario Institute of Technology. This presentation includes objectives, introduction, finite element model of a rolling truck tire, method of model analysis, model validation, results and discussions, and conclusions. The objective is to develop a virtual test platform for analyzers of rolling tires with efficient model reformulations for parametric studies. The platform permits model analyzers of a rolling tire while it is under inflation pressure and normal load and is applied to investigate the influences of different operating factors on the tire natural frequencies. Estimating natural frequencies of a pneumatic tire is of vital importance in design of tire vehicle systems since it permits to identify critical speeds so as to minimize noise and improve ride quality. It further helps to provide general solutions for tire dynamic responses under varying loading conditions which is essential for vehicle system simulations. Reported studies on tire vibration properties have used different experimental, analytical, and numerical approaches. A number of experimental studies measured vibrational responses at limited locations along the tire circumference and could identify the resonant frequencies for a free stationary tire with limited accuracy. Some studies used optical measurement methods known as holography and could obtain resonant frequencies and mood shapes for a free rotating tire. Experimental approaches could determine only a limited number of lower frequencies related to simpler vibration patterns such as radial, tangential, and lateral modes. To identify the more complex vibration patterns corresponding to higher natural frequencies, analytical approaches were used. Early theoretical studies used axisymmetric models and considered the tire as a toroidal membrane or a thin shell of revolution. These models could investigate the influences of inflation pressure and centrifugal forces on vibration characteristics of a rotating but non-contacting tire. Fewer studies considered the contribution of ground contact on tire natural frequencies due to complexities associated with changing contact boundary condition. A number of studies used the model expansion method in conjunction with the linear thin shell theory to identify the natural modes and frequencies of a tire in ground contact from those of the free tire. These models provided dynamic responses of a rolling tire and could approximate the critical speeds related to standing waves. The linear thin shell theory, however, could not perform well under high frequency excitations caused by road irregularities. Some theoretical studies considered the tire as a ring on elastic foundation and attempted to predict natural frequencies of a rolling tire in ground contact. It was observed that due to symmetry of the free tire corresponding to each eigenfrequency, two identical mode shapes were observed with an offset in the angle of the antinodes. For the contacting tire, however, these identical modes diverged into symmetric and antisymmetric modes at two distinct frequencies. Such physics-based approaches, however, necess necessitate prior tire measurements for identifications of model properties. 
The experimental and theoretical studies could detect only a few lower natural frequencies with limited accuracy. Numerical tire models using finite element methods, however, could provide more comprehensive vibration modes while allowing consideration of the material and geometric details of pneumatic tires. A number of studies extracted the tire natural frequencies from fast Fourier transformation analyzers of the tire transient responses to impact-like excitations. The drop test and the cleat drum simulation have been widely used to determine the fundamental frequency of a stationary or a rolling tire under normal load. The tire mode shapes, however, could not be obtained using these tests. A number of studies predicted the tire modes and frequencies via solving a linear eigenvalue problem. Majority of these have considered a free tire as a pre structure under inflation pressure. Fewer studies incorporated the influences of ground contact and rotational speed on the tire eigenfrequencies. This is due to nonlinearities caused by tire stresses under multiple loading and changing contact geometry, which necessitate prior explicit dynamic simulations. These studies, which are mostly on passenger car tires, could investigate the effects of inflation pressure, contact load, and rolling speed on a few basic natural modes and frequencies such as lateral, longitudinal, radial, and steer. This suggests that the individual contributions of such operating factors to the higher modes and frequencies need to be explored, particularly for drug tires. A three-dimensional finite element model of a rolling truck tire was developed using Elsdyna and applied for modal analyses to predict the natural frequencies and the corresponding mode shapes for a radial ply truck tire. The carcass and belts are considered as composite plies including rubber matrix and reinforcements. The rubber matrix is modeled using thick shell elements with elastic materials. The reinforcements are described using thin shell elements considering orthotropic material properties. The thread and bead fillers are modeled using solid elements with Mooney-Rivlin rubber constitutive model. In this study, the tire modal characteristics are obtained from solving a linear eigenvalue problem while using the large deformation finite element theory. In this theory, in addition to the common stiffness matrix, which represents the material constitutive response, a new term known as the geometric stiffness matrix is used. This new term accounts for the nonlinear effects due to the pre stresses arising from the loading and boundary conditions. Obtaining pre-stresses resulted from the inflation pressure, ground contact, and rolling speed necessitate prior explicit dynamic simulations. Both the modal analyses and the explicit dynamic simulations are performed using Elsteina, while a customized pre-processing tool is developed to automate model reformulations to facilitate parametric studies. The procedure is as follows. Based on a list of user-defined parameters, a command file is automatically created, which is subsequently executed in the Elsteina preprocessor to create the model file. The model file includes the finite element mesh of the tire with all material definitions and loading and boundary conditions to be solved by the explicit dynamic solver. In the explicit dynamic simulation, the tire is firstly inflated to a desired pressure and is then deflected due to a normal load and finally rolls at a desired speed. The esters field throughout the tire elements are extracted at three instants when the tire reaches a steady state after applications of inflation pressure, normal load, and rolling speed. 
These stresses are incorporated in the eigenvalue solutions and reflect the effects of those operating factors on the tire natural modes and frequencies. The tire model is initially validated using experimental data in terms of load deflection characteristics and the contact patch size in a wide range of vertical loads. The fundamental frequency of the stationary tire is identified from the vibrational response of the tire spindle in a drop test simulation. The vertical mode frequency of the rolling tire at 50 km per hour is obtained via fast Fourier transform analysis on the tire spindle reaction force response due to a cleat in a drum test simulation. The tire model is further validated in terms of the lateral force and aligning moment responses due to a range of constant side slip angles using experimental data for three different normal loads. The tire model permitted to study the effects of different operating parameters on the tire dynamic responses. The simulation results showed that increasing the inflation pressure highly increased the tire static stiffness for a wide range of vertical loads. Rotational motion of the tire resulted in a rapid drop in the rolling dynamic stiffness while further increase of speed did not result in further reduction and approached saturation. Increasing the inflation pressure increased the lateral force up to a peak while further increase of pressure resulted in a decrease in the lateral force due to reduction of the contact patch and the peak occurred at a greater inflation pressure under a greater normal load. Finally, increasing the normal load increased the lateral force up to a level and approached saturation while the saturation point occurred at a lower normal load for a lower side slip angle. Following the explicit dynamic simulations, the eigenfrequencies are extracted at three key instants when the tire reaches a steady state after applications of the inflation pressure, normal load, and rolling speed. These are the mode shapes corresponding to each natural frequency for the contacted tire together with the eigenfrequencies related to the inflated, loaded, and rolling situations. The lowest in-plane mode extracted from the loaded tire reflected hopping motions along vertical direction. The frequency corresponding to this mode is comparable with that obtained from the drop test. The first torsional mode revealed rotational oscillations of the tire about the wheel axis. The next in-plane mode revealed an oval form resulting from extensions in opposite directions along a central line in the wheel plane and compressions along the perpendicular axis. The frequency corresponding to this mode was found to be comparable with that obtained from the cleat drum test simulation. At higher frequencies, the tire revealed in-plane deflection modes with corner-rounded triangular and quadric shapes. The first lateral mode revealed translational motion of the tire along the transverse direction. Rotational oscillations of the tire about the vertical axis forms the next out-of-plane mode. A complex out-of-plane deformation pattern were observed next. In this mode, the tire exhibited a twisting vibrational motion where the two opposite halves of the tire moved outwards from the tire plane and the other two opposite halves displaced backwards out of the tire plane. Out-of-plane triangular and quadric vibration modes were also detected, causing twisting oscillations of the tire along the toroidal center line. Due to symmetry of the free tire, a number of pairs of conjugate mode frequencies were detected with identical frequencies but different mode shapes 
resulted from an offset in the angle of the anti-nodes. For the contacted tire, however, these identical frequencies diverged into two distinct frequencies with one lower and the other greater than that of the free tire. This phenomenon was observed for a number of in-plane and out-of-plane modes such as the oval, triangular and quadric modes which is in agreement with other reported experimental studies. The modal analyses were repeated for a range of operating parameters and permitted to investigate the influences of these factors on the in-plane and out-of-plane tire vibration modes and natural frequencies. The results showed that increasing the inflation pressure substantially increased the natural frequencies, while increasing the normal load resulted in only a slight increase in the natural frequencies. The rotational motion of the tire resulted in a dramatic reduction in the natural frequencies, while further increase of speed caused only a smaller further reduction in the natural frequencies. Conclusions The proposed tire model was validated using experimental data in terms of dynamic responses and vibration properties. Modal characteristics of the rolling tire were determined via eigenvalue analyses followed by explicit dynamic simulations so as to incorporate the effects of the tire preloads and ground contact. The virtual test platform permitted to investigate the influences of operating factors on tire dynamic responses and modal properties. Due to ground contact, the identical conjugate frequencies of the free tire diverged into two different frequencies for the case of the contacted tire. Thank you very much for watching this video presentation.